Good Samaritan saved Ansel Parchment in his bid to win gold at the Tokyo Olympics. While Jamaicans are still celebrating the success of Hans Parchment, the athlete took to Instagram on Saturday to outline the difficulties he faced to reach the stadium on Wednesday for the semifinals of the Tokyo Olympic Games. For the semifinals of the 110 meter hurdles, that could have prevented him from winning. According to Parchment, Wednesday morning while trying to reach the Olympic Stadium in the Japanese capital of Tokyo, he accidentally took the wrong bus and ended up at a venue that was hosting aquatic events. He said, having realized his folly, he was told that he had to journey back to the athletic village which, if done, would not have allowed him enough time on reaching the Olympic Stadium to warm up. Parchment stated that he tried to find another way to the Olympic Stadium and sought one of the branded cars for the game to take him to the venue. These people are very strict and were adhering to the rules, and I would have had to book the car before to be able to get it to leave. I saw this volunteer and I had to beg because, of course, she's not allowed to do much and she actually gave me some money to take one of the taxis that's affiliated with the whole games and that's how I was able to get to the warm-up track at the stadium with enough time to warm up to compete. Two days after, he returned to the aquatic venue and repaid the volunteer the money she gave to him while also showing her the medal and gifting her a Jamaican Olympic Games polo shirt. So guys, I have a little story. For the semifinals, I accidentally went on the wrong bus to the wrong venue. I think sure, well, I had music in my ears and I wasn't hearing anything the, the people loading the bus were saying. But I saw the sign at the top at that bus stand saying athletics track. So I just went on, not even thinking about it. And I was in my phone listening to music. By the time I looked up, I realized no, this bus is going around way. Eh? I'm not familiar with any of this surrounding. Anyways, I reached the, the venue and it's one of them aquatic places where some kind of rowing or something like that. I wasn't sure. But anyways, they were telling me that I have to come back to the village and then take another bus back to the stadium and if I had done that I wouldn't get there in time to even warm up I had to um, find another way I was trying to get one of the, the cars that the, the branded cars for the games to take me but you know, these people are very strict and adhering to the rules you know, I would have to book the car from before to be able to get it but I saw this um, volunteer and, and I had to beg because of course she's not allowed to, to do much and she actually gave me some money to take one of the taxis that I um, affiliated with the, with the whole game and that's how I was able to get to the warm-up track at the stadium and with enough time to warm up to compete and that's just awesome. So I'm gonna find her this morning and show her my gold medal that I was able to get because she uh, she helped. So I think that's a nice gesture. I'm on the bus now to the Sea Forest Waterway where I will find the good Samaritan that helped me yesterday. Just the day before yesterday to get to the stadium for my semifinals. So I made it back to the waterway and I already found it. Aligato, is that enough? Well, I'm, I'm gonna talk to her. But I'm sure she doesn't realize that I'm here and I'm standing right next to her. Sienna, you remember me? Oh, you, come. Hi, you're scared, really? Yes, Thank I am you. back to repay you and 
show you something. You were instrumental in me getting to the final of that day. Really? Really? You yes. I won. That's just because you helped me. Thank you. To get to the stadium. Yes, so I took a shirt for you as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope it fits. And I took back your money. Oh, thank you, sorry. 